Welcome, friends and colleagues, to the lecture room. In the realm of everyday life on Earth, spirituality is not a pondered subject. Not in our secular world. Spirituality is too distant a subject for most to conceive. Life is only in the present, only in the physical, and the senses pertain only to now. Spirituality is mostly associated with religious conceptions of life and eternity, or the state of beings that are irrelevant to the worldly man, almost meaningless in the importance of life here on Earth. However, is spirituality a dimension, say another fathom of a metamorphosis of the living body itself, or of the existence after the human body has expired? Sometimes the reference to spirituality is only implied as an attitude, a specific to cultural expression during sacred practices, a way of displaying an exemplification supporting rituals. However, is spirituality a dimension say another fathom of a metamorphosis of the living body itself, or of the existence after the human body has expired. Sometimes the reference to spirituality is only implied as an attitude, a specific to cultural expression during sacred practices, a way of displaying an exemplification supporting rituals. One definition implies the spirit as the non-physical part of a human being, or a reference to someone's personal character and how they display their emotions. A motivation or a social belief is often referred to the perception of spirit, having spirit. So is spirit nothing more than a fragment of a cultural preservation? The word spirit comes from the Latin word, breathe referring to an action of being alive, to express the self in a gesture, witnessing your stance as a creature here on earth. The Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, whom the whole family in heaven and earth is made, grant you to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man, that Christ, dwelling in your hearts by faith, you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Amen. The Bible terms spirituality in reference to faith, being a relationship with God. When life ends, what is the next phase of existence? Do we completely disappear, or is there another step in the beyond?